How's it going everybody? Welcome to Sick Eric Tech and today we're going to be taking a look at a fantastic app for your Samsung device. This is part of the good lock system for Samsung. So if you don't know what good lock is, I will post links in the description down below. Essentially, this gives you a lot more customization options for your Galaxy device. And now everything has been updated to One UI 5. So that's fantastic. All of the modules have been updated on here. And like I said, I'll post a link in the description. That way you guys can check this out. So pretty much it's on good luck and the app is going to be called Registar. And if you click on more, you could go to the store and you could install it and, and uh, have it on your device or you know check out the uh, details on it. But I already have it installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. And this is a new uh, modular or module app for the good luck just came out really cool and uh, it has some pretty interesting stuff on there before we get started consider subscribing to sick eric tech if you're new here welcome i do videos like this tutorials a lot of comparison videos and unboxings and reviews of smartphones and other tech so i really appreciate a sub so uh first and foremost you're going to go into customize your settings and this is a thing that i have not seen before on a android phone so this is pretty cool so we all know when you go into your settings options, you have all your settings right here. So some of them are really at the bottom and you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to get to them or some of them are at the top. So now you have the option to customize the order of your settings. So for me, for instance, I put software update at the top and the display up top. Software update is usually found all the way at the bottom. So you have to go into your settings scroll all the way down in the bottom just to get to your software update to see if you have a fantastic update from samsung and now i have it all the way at the top and you can move these around just by holding on this little arrow and sliding everything up and down pretty much to where you want it so now when i go into my settings boom you get software update right up top you can go on and you can check to see if you have another update and I also moved display up here. So pretty much if you have a setting that's all the way down at the bottom and you want to move it up. So say if I want to move developer options, I could put that all the way up top. That way you don't have to scroll all the way down at the bottom. You could have it front and center when you go into your settings. So that's really cool. Not seen anything like this before. Uh, so that's really cool that they added it. So if you go into your uh, other settings right here, Samsung account, uh, show the account's name. You could either show your name or your nickname. And then you could also hide your email address. So when I go into my settings, I won't have my email information over here. So if I'm doing a video like this, I don't want you guys creeping on my info. I could hide that from you guys. That way you guys don't see my email address. So that's pretty cool. And then you could also go into uh, settings, change history. So this has to do with your history and things like that. Not really using anything right there. You could uh, customize your search search options. You could have display policy, accuracy, or menu order and things like that. And then another cool feature is going to be the back tap action. So this is really cool. A lot of Pixel devices already have this to where you tap on the back. It'll bring up an action. So if you were to go on to double tap, you could click uh, and from any of these options right here, you could take a screenshot uh, start pop-up window, show recent apps, back button, or you could even open up the app. Right now, I got it to where I show notifications. So if I double tap on the back, it'll bring up my notifications. Boom, a little slow. If I double tap again, it won't bring them, it won't uh, take it back. So you have to swipe your notifications away. So that, that is one thing that the Pixel device uh, does a little better. When you double tap, it'll bring them down and it'll bring them back up. So that's pretty cool. And you can also open up any app of your choosing on here. So if I wanted to go in there and open up Amazon Music, double tap, boom, it'll bring up Amazon Music. So that's pretty cool that you could customize that double tap, but we're gonna go ahead and keep it on show notifications. And you could also triple tap, again, all the different settings on here. And then you could also choose an app. So for a triple tap, I have show recents menu. So if I triple tap, boom, it'll show my recents menu, triple tap again. It'll take me back to my most recent uh, thing right there. Triple tap, triple tap again. 
and it'll keep going through all your different applications so that's pretty cool that you could do things like that and customize things further so going on to side key press and hold action so as you all know we do have a side key option in the normal settings for samsung so far we go into normal settings and click side key uh, it gives you some options right here like quick launch camera you can open up a uh, an app like a flashlight or anything like that on there a little limited on here and then press and hold you either get wake bixby or power off menu well now with this option you got so many different options you could do with that side key press and hold action so that's really cool so if i want to uh turn on and off flashlight if i long press boom it'll turn on and off the flashlight and then also you can have your other side key to where you double press it'll turn on and off your flashlight or if i want to open up an app say amazon music long press boom it'll open up whatever app you choose and you also get the double tap to turn on and off your flashlight so that's really cool that you get options for your side key to press and hold action and you could also have that coupled with your normal side key actions that are built in stock on your and on your galaxy device that we could have different options to either double tap or long press on here so that's really cool and you could also just you know turn this off and have it to where you long press your power button it'll bring up your power on and off you know reboot restart menu and things like that so really cool that this gives you a little bit more options for your galaxy device to customize your side key and to customize how your settings look and how you know you could make things more accessible on your settings menu when it comes down to not having to scroll all the way down at the bottom you could put stuff right up here on top so really cool app from samsung called registar part of the good lock system uh, links will be posted down below if you want to check out good lock and check out registar so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you next time. Peace.